previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! He called film Whoa. little pieces what of time. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. So we're back with more Life of Strange. That was a nice little recap the game does, I guess, in between episodes. We're gonna be starting episode two. sleep with covers or did she like push him away? Being a superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Jesus, how long is a fucking... Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like, no... Whoa. Hello, zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game, instead of drama games. Okay. Bunch of sticky notes? I think that was probably the research she talked about. I can't my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. 
This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I and I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. I don't remember who Dana is. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. Why does it say consequences? Like, to, like the fucking plant's gonna grow arms and kill me. No smiling. Take your power seriously. I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? That's so true. You can just stay in one. You can stay in one time zone for not time zone, like a period of time forever. Uh oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Probably not. I guess. I don't know. Okay, Max. You're not wearing a watch Let's hit the first showers episode. Now. I don't think there's anything else I need to do in here. No. Gordon, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? Fine, I won't All disturb right. you. We'll bang for Jesus. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. What? Wow! Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. I'm gonna go remove this now. Didn't even notice she got hit in the head with that. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. I'm gonna go talk to everybody else before I hit the shower. All right. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Mm. No, because I do need to do the fucking. No, nah. sorry. It's just not my thing. You came to Blackwell to discover yourself, not hide in your dorm. I won't discover myself avoiding projectile vomit from bro dudes. Thanks, anyway. 
Hmm. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Oh, he Trevor was here. is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. Rollerblades! Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. Wow, that's pretty bad. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Oh, don't say that out loud, dork. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. This is both sad and pathetic. Juliet's room. Wake up, Max. Juliet is next to me in the hall, not her room. I'm an idiot. <laughs> hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max, did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now Got I feel like an ass. Him. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. All right, let's just go to the restroom or shower. Oh, speaking of which. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Is that it? Yeah. Oh man, what the hell's gonna happen? What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. 
Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still I'm got him uh... paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Oh my lord. Biatch. <laughs> this is some fucking Metal Gear Solid shit right there, dude. I better get dressed and go there. give back Kate's book. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Gotta be something I can use to get rid of that. There you go. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Who cares, you bitch? All right. Rachel is a whore. All right. Where is... Oh, I gotta go get the book for her anyway. So I guess I can speak to her. Where was that book at? My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. And nothing here. Of course she just All spilled right. soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Really? Aha, you I like how the fix is You're mine. I like how the fix is move the cup instead of just pick up the uh, paper like a normal human being. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. I need to get dressed before I go there. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Whoa. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything when I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Okay. Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be any fine. I won't disturb you. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. She plays violin. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Why did she cover up the mirror? She Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. I like what they did with the, uh, with the room. They closed the blinds, made it look dark. Obviously to reflect, to reflect I had no what's idea that going Kate on. ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella.
Poster of Jesus. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Ouch. She left out amnation. Hmm. <laughs> That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Kate really has a doting father. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. <laughs> I like how there's a smudged out picture of an old guy in the back. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Uh, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So what's the story with you and David? Well. He's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. So why would you go? Lapse of sanity? I just thought I could meet some new people. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. What? Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? 
I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Interesting. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Yeah, I gotta look for proof. Otherwise, this man's gonna go after you. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Okay, well look, that's the best you can do. Otherwise you're gonna get this bull shit out of proportion. And Nathan's gonna fucking shoot you. So what the fuck do you want? Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Exactly, there's no, I'm not gonna fucking rewind this. Did I look at this already? Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. All right. I hate- oh my god, did- Just sent that message in one fucking text. I hate when getting receiving like seven different texts just for one sentence. Wait, where did Juliet go? Is she in here? Yeah. Can I have to talk to her about stuff or not? Excuse me, I'm texting Zach. Alright. You fuck off too. This is Stella's. Go away! People are sleeping! Clearly not a morning person. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Look at this guy just chilling. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. So... What did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I <laughs> okay. that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. The hell does that mean? Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? 
Release the Kraken. Yes. Come on, Squirrel. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Yes! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Yo, he's probably collecting a bunch of stuff from all the girls. That's really weird. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Hmm. Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident and too easy to sneak into. I definitely won't play with this thing again. I wonder if that I come and I can ask him about it. I want to see what he says. Hello again, Samuel. Hello again yourself, Max. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while well, prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. So did you know her? Like I told the police. She was a good egg. And she gave me those photos. Oh, you talked to the police? Rachel wanted to be a model. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. I do have a lot of time on my hands. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Maybe I can move her to my team now. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her, I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends, too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. All right, we're gonna skip that. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Yeah. Hi again, Taylor. Hey, that wasn't such a bad talk. We should do it again. See you later. Yeah, buddy. I'm gonna get on my own squat. <laughs> Max, oh, there he he's is. over here. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some Whoa. personal superhero. <laughs> You're a real everyday Phrasing. hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. 
I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Isn't I blasted him in the kid. bathroom yesterday with a gun. I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please, don't say anything. I'll give you more info later. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yeah, yes, why not? that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. All right, so let's let's start with the fucking. Is there something back here I can go to? Nope. Okay. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. I'm thinking it's the same thing that happened to Kate. Rachel was drugged by Nathan or whatever. Went to that whatever place they went to. Some weird shit happened. I don't know. Like that. that was weird. Like skipping. Don't you know that I'm to guide you through your week? Damn it, that was like an eclipse of a backpack, but it did. The headphones. Next Fast and the Furious movie is being filmed outside. It's Mark. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Well, that looked like that was our morning. Or I guess it was still in the morning, but we'll continue this next week. Not next week. With this, I'm actually trying just one run of the series, so you're gonna be seeing a lot more of Life is Strange really quickly next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.